Live life louder. But Josh, you've been around yourself a long time now. You actually started off in the boy band Hometown. Yeah, yeah I've been around the block so, already. <laughs> yeah, so you can't be that young. Uh, uh, so <laughs> what's it like going from being with loads of boys to now going solo on your own, taking centre stage on your toe? Um, it's actually really nice uh, to be honest. Like I had such an amazing time in the band and with the lads. We, you know, we've experienced and done so much that I actually never thought I'd get to do in my lifetime. But um, it was it's like a completely different thing now, I guess, because I suppose that the band has now finished four years, which is crazy to say. It was uh, I think we had a stint of just nearly two years with that, uh, and we did a lot in those two years, which kind of nearly felt like it was going for longer than for that reasons. But then I guess I finished. I left school quite early. Uh, I left school when I wasn't really supposed to. I left at the end of fifth year, so I kind of came out of it. And you know, like you when you're you're young lad, I was I was eighteen. I was like, oh no, my life is over now. I don't know what to do before it even began, kind of thing. Oh, I had all these kind of panic stations. So. Um, I always knew that I wanted to carry on with music and that was always like uh, my priority with, for any career choice. So I actually went back to college though first just to kind of have a cushion there of, you know, some sort of certification. So I went back and I actually ended up studying music in BIM as well. Um, so I said, at least okay. if I'm going to go back and do something, I want to do something that I was genuinely interested in because I'm just that type of person that will fully like go at something when I'm in it you know way enough I'm not really interested in something I'll kind of just take it or leave it so um yeah I went back and then obviously after finishing college I knew I wanted to continue on an artist project so I just kept writing songs writing songs um I formed a band so like as a as a like it's a full band when it's live and stuff the whole project so then I released my first single Cut Loose and off the back of that then I managed to get myself a publishing deal based over in England so I've kind of just been back and forth there working on an album and stuff for now and I've released a couple of singles and they've been they've been pretty uh, pretty good so far with the response from them so I'm actually just really enjoying it I've got to play a lot of festivals uh, that I actually didn't get to play um, in hometown and stuff like that you know the likes of independence and all that kind of stuff. it was really yeah. nice to do it that way kind of from the ground up as opposed to just being thrown in these big gigs because of you know being associated with names and stuff so it, kind of, it was kind of very like a very grounding experience if that makes sense Okay. And when hometown finished, Josh, um, and you were trying to figure out what to do next, we saw Brendan Murray went the route of representing Ireland in the Eurovision. Your other bandmate, Dale, took to Dancing with the Stars. Was there ever a temptation to do something like that or um, you wanted to get away from it for a while? No, to be honest, no. no. Um, I wasn't, I, like, I'm delighted, like, the lads have done so well. Like, Dale's background was I'd answer like at first. I was delighted when that came up for him because it suits him to a T. And he's got such a great personality for TV as well. Like guys with Brendan, like I was delighted for him as well. Like the things that he's got to do now off the back of that as well. I'm still in touch with the lads all the time. But um, I, I knew for myself it wasn't the route I wanted to go down. I kind of wanted to, you know, sit back and not rush into something because I knew that I was just going to do that and then probably say to myself, you should have waited a while at least and try to figure out where you were at in your own head before doing that and then who I was as an artist and what I did musically especially after being in a band because we didn't really have much of a say in what we could write and what to perform it was just gonna that's it there lads do that so when you're so used to that I guess it's trying to take that time and go right who am I so yeah so I think I think I think that when the band finished I had like 100 quid left in my pocket so I just went to work in retail for a while and worked on building sites while I was like going through college and started gigging again and stuff in pubs and kind of worked my way up that way so yeah it's pretty Pretty normal, I guess. A pretty nice kind of way to do it like, as well. Well, Josh, to go back to the single, it is one of our I Love Irish tracks of the month. It's a truly brilliant, as I said at the start, uh, reimagining of uh, of what we would call a classic people from our generation. Your parents. <laughs> <laughs> not going to be forgiven for this one. Sorry. Congratulations um, on that. And I guess also having gone through the, the success, the highs of hometown, the lows, which can be very difficult to come back to yeah. find yourself. As I think an, that was like, that was a big point of it as well for me. It was just like, you know, because I'm not going to lie to anyone. Like after all that, I was at a low point trying to find myself again. And it is just being like, it does get better. Take a breather. It'll all be grand. Do you know that way? Yeah. But well, I think it's just important for people to say that though, because like, Especially now at the moment with like all these like social media outlets, everybody just tries to show their best side. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, really. like you can all be quite fake a lot of the time. So it's just being able to say, you know, life is kind of crappy sometimes for everybody. So it's not just you. So that's why I wanted to yeah. remind people of with that song as well. 
Well, it, it really does that. It's it's gorgeous. For the times we are in. Josh Gray, thanks so much for joining us on iRadio and we look forward to whatever you do next. Oh, thanks for having me. I hope you see you soon. Here we go. Music. Lifestyle. Entertainment. News. Sports. iRadio. Live life louder.